Hey, good morning there, YouTube. So today, we are going to take a little, a small little journey. I was looking on motorcycle roads. I'm in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I was looking on motorcycle roads to see what roads are nearby. And uh, <coughs> I saw there was one that was pretty much right here, along with a little reservoir. So I kind of figured, well, since I'm here, I may as well check it out. So far, I've done 2,075 miles. So this will probably be, for this trip, I think I'll probably hit like 2,600, maybe somewhere around there. Maybe 2,600 miles, somewhere in that area. I don't think I'm going to end up doing much more than that. And, uh... I was thinking that I was going to need a front tire, but I uh, I never ended up needing it, which is a good thing. I don't know, it was a little route over here at 34 and you run this a little further up and it brings you to uh, there's like a little reservoir over here. You end up crossing the river on over to 22 and then it brings you to uh, actually I actually have to take another other road over there and it brings me over to a little this road that runs pretty much straight all the way up parallel to 81 and seems to be like a, a reservoir over there so I said man I wouldn't mind checking that out it's about a two-hour loop so I figured uh well I got up early uh, a hotel over here they had some breakfast I got a little bite to eat nothing nothing out of this world but decent and uh, I figured why not come out and take an early morning cruise over here. West Virginia meetup was a really nice success. Went along really nicely. And uh, the route went along really nice. Everybody said they, they liked the route. I was glad they did, man, because man, it was hard, man, trying to pick a route out there and you, you know you, you've never been there before you know that's, that's a little awkward it's not a little awkward it's very awkward <laughs> you know but you know I mean if I'm by myself and things don't really turn out that's fine you can always you turn it and then kind of wing it look at Google Maps and figure it out but if you got 27 bikes <laughs> you can't do that that's just not an option. So, you know, and at the same time, a lot of those roads down there, man, they seem like, it almost just seems like there's no such thing as a bad road down there, man. That's the nuttiest thing. You, know, you got a lot of this morning traffic here. You think by 819, most people probably be at work already. I guess most of them probably starting at 9. My brakes are still cold. I'm tired and cold. I didn't even travel two miles yet. No, these tires are cold. So I, uh... You know, I have to say, I, I made a purchase of these uh, Viking Cycle rain suit, and I was seriously impressed. Have you guys ever made a purchase, 
in an amount that wasn't a lot of money. The suit was only about what 49 bucks for the top and the bottom, and it also has a hood and a collar. And the way that that works is, well, as I've learned, is you put the suit on and you put the hood on and strap up the collar and um, then you put your helmet on with the hood on and that will keep the majority of any rain from getting in and man you know, I'll tell you that thing that thing worked great it was, it was just it really did work great I, I was I was uh, I was pretty shocked I don't know if you guys ever made a purchase that you know you, you thought man this is probably cheap it's probably not gonna last long and uh, come to find out <laughs> you know come to find out man it's actually a pretty damn good product so yeah you know thumbs up to that uh that, that Viking cycle rain suit and I'll, I'll put a I'll put a little photo in here for you so you can see it. It was worth the purchase. Man, it is early for a vlog. I know I know some of you guys are early vloggers, man. And early risers, but man, I am not an early riser, man. Man, I tell you, J J J J T man, Southern Friday, and this guy was up like every day. 6:30, man. He's up. Woo! I was like, man, I was like, this guy's up already. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, you know, yeah, but he works early, so you know, he's up early every day, man. man that sun come up, man, he's up, you know, but uh, but yeah, definitely was. It was nice, nice trip. Yeah, I definitely am a scenic rider, anything relatively scenic and. I'm all for it, you know. And it's kind of nice, you know. You take a, I take a, you know. This I don't usually do this on trips. I usually I would have just taken the highway straight home. But man, you know, I've done that before. And then one one day I sat down and I kind of looked at motorcycle maps and I said, wait a minute, you know, look at this route and look at this route and. Look at look at look at this route, and I was like, "Holy crap!" You know, um, I was shocked. I guess this is uh, the unbeaten path out here, huh? I don't really get too many cars. I don't see too many cars out here. It's pretty beautiful. So I figured, well, why not? Uh, why not bring you guys out here? I mean, let's take a little stroll and see how much we uh, like motorcycle maps routes. We're gonna be making a little, I guess there's a runabout up here. We're gonna be making a, a loop and the left. 